Well, that's a shitty river, isn't it? I think I'm going to jam, though. There we go. There we go, huh? That's better. It's a little better. Obviously, we're going to snap this, snap this off. <clears throat> Fade the seven and the board pair. There we go. Pretty good. Going to open up the aces, obviously. It's a pretty standard resteal here with the ace king. King Queen High. <clears throat> Nothing to do except what I did. Try to get paid. It feels like this is close. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna jam here. I think it's close. We got him. <laughs> badly. We got him badly. We, re we, we checked jammed the turn and got called by Kings and uh, sucked out. That's what you gotta do sometimes. It's a good spike. I'm gonna check this back. I'll bet it reasonably often, but not always. Gonna open up the threes down here. We're gonna hope to spike an eight or a three here. I'm gonna overcall. Let's fade that nine ten, guys. Fade that nine ten, fade that boat. Fade that nine ten, fade that boat. Damn. Obviously wanted that call. Good luck us. Okay. Fade the diamond. Woo! Woo! Don't want that shit happening. That's bad. Small blind 5x here. Over it. 12 big blind jam. Gonna call it off. Let's win the flip. Boom! Let's fade the, fade the chop. He almost got me the first time, but I got him the second time. Got ace queen here. And we're gonna open this queen 10, obviously. Gonna check flop. Um, obviously not folding. So we're gonna check twice. I'm gonna check raise here. It's a little sloppy. Um, but sometimes I just feel like being a little sloppy. Here, flop check through. I check twice. Uh, here, the check raise worked. Gonna call. That sucks. I didn't really like the nine, but I didn't hate it either. I'm gonna call here. That sucks. Pretty standard spots though, I think, <clears throat> for both in both scenarios. I like my my lines in both spots. So, <clears throat> so it's a good good flop for flatting queen eight suited from the big blind. 
Going to check call the flop. Going to re-steal this ace rack in the 5k. Gotta, gotta pair the board. Shit. So, GG. It sucks. Obviously, we wanted the call. BBC, how much do you buy in for on an average Sunday? Some, somewhere between like 16 and 25,000 on a normal Sunday. And then when there's something going on, like multiple, like more than one 5K or like today. And like I re-enter the 5K so they go bad. <clears throat> or if there's 10Ks that look really attractive that I play, then we get up to like 35 to 40,000. Probably there's like one or 2,000 if I busted everything like just now. Speaking of which, this is a good, as good a hand to go with as any. Just jam with nines, man. Just jam with nines. Or ace five suited, I'm, I'll take that one too. Just be like, I'm gonna run it. Put the pressure on BBZ. Okay, let's hold. Let's felt the fade to three. Yes! Got the double, guys. We got the double. There we go. There we go. Yes, that was good. So, pretty standard answer, just gonna call. Well, that's a shitty river, isn't it? I think I'm gonna jam, though. There we go. There we go. Got the balls to rep the, the thin value range. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you got there? Ah, uh, you know, there's some hands. There's some hands. I could jam a five. I could jam a jack. I can still have a jack. How many jacks? Like over forty. I have a lot of jacks. Uh, he three x. I guess maybe not over forty, but you know, I have, I have a bunch. Still have a bunch of jacks. Um, yes. Love to win that shit. Let's go. Let's go. Get in those clutch spots. Let's, let's do it. Let's make the moves. Everybody go nuts. It's kind of funny. Everybody's going nuts about the jam with the nine seven. Yo, sometimes you gotta jam. Sometimes you gotta jam. We get a lot more to do. Sometimes you gotta put it in. What do you mean you don't know about the jam? Of course the jam's fine. The jam's fine. It's fine. You have to jam sometimes, guys. You have to jam sometimes. I guarantee you there's a shoving range on the river. It's gonna have quads in it. I mean, like, I'm gonna flat nines pre-flop too. I'm not gonna just three-bit nines. Like, it's gonna have eights. I'm gonna have eights. I'm gonna have sevens. My hand's fine to jam. Don't worry, it's fine. I mean, like, it really is fine. Like, it's fine. You don't have to always jam, but not jamming rests on some assumptions about his calling range too. Well, boy, he's building his calling range. And I like shoving. You gotta gamble. Like you can't just win and slate without like you know taking some risks. You gotta take some risks, guys. You gotta take some risks. Could check this back. I think it's close. Probably check more if I was on the cutoff. I really don't like having the jack of spades here, but I mean, like it's like eight six a lot, I guess. Like, I mean. hey YouTube, BBZ here, and I am just announcing our brand new website, bbzpoker.com. 
We've got the same products and services that you're used to on the former website. Uh, with some new additions, we've got the ICM course there. And we're going to continue to provide updates to our total video library. And we've got access to some other things there. So you can go check that out, bbzpoker.com. Really look forward to seeing you. Thanks very much, guys. He's obviously going to call. So, I mean, like, well, that's whatever. This is, like, the shitty spot. But, oh, he's, he's timing down for the six, for 16 left. I mean, I still think he has, like, 8-6. He has, like, queen-8. He has sets, too, like, 6s and 8s. But if he has 6s and 8s, he should just get it in because he's not worried about going broke, I guess. But he's timing out for the ladder. I mean, like, I'm optimistic that he has, like, you know, 9-10 of spades or 7-5 seven, seven, of spades or something, but I don't think I should be bet folding this hand on the turn here. It sucks, because he's not value betting worse, I don't think, but, like, if he reverse folds the flop with, like, ace-5 of hearts and just jams this turn, I just can't fold ace-jack. Like, he's, he doesn't have better ace-x, so his range is 2-pair plus and draws, but my strategy can't really involve bet folding this hand, so. Oh, my God, he had queen-6 and we spiked. Holy shit, did you guys see that? Holy macaroni! Holy fuck, holy shit. He had it, I mean like, I still can't bet fold that spot. And like on any run out, like I'm just jamming the river with my hand, so. Oh shit, I run so good sometimes. Sometimes it's good to be me, woo! Oh my lanta, that was so sexy. What a river. But yeah, if I basically, if I bet fold uh, my hand on the turn, <laughs> if I bet fold my hand on the turn, I end up, Bet folding just like way too much. Like it just check jamming becomes way too effective. It's obvious his range is like draws and two pair, which sucks. Um, there's not a bunch of hands I beat, but <clears throat> my strategy is definitely not going to involve bet folding that hand. Oh my god, we have a lot of chips. Yes, not as much as that Pascal guy, but a lot of chips. Yes. All right, so. We're in profit for the day. So we're in profit and whatever happens now is the gravy train. Obviously we're race calling. Open jack nine on the cutoff. Got three bet, no fold. Interesting spot to, to like check raise. Don't expect to get check raised here much. Got him. We got him. Let's go. Building. Got a bunch of chips. So for those of you that are trying to get better at no limit hold them, the best content that we have for beginning players who are trying to improve is our Introduction to Quantitative Strategies video. Um, yeah, this spot sucks, like, kind of badly, but I think I have to felt this hand. There's too much money in the middle, I think. And his range is just too, like, involves too many hands, like, sixes and tens, and... He's got a one bet, one bet decision. I think you have, like, king-queen suited still. It's a 16 big blind jam. I know that like it looks it looks like a lot of chips at the table, but I think it's tough for me to fold there. I'm also like not very close to ladders, which matters. There's 15 left and 12 ladders, so it's not like we're like right on a money bubble. <clears throat> well, that sucks. GG there. Picked up 4,000. 43.25. <clears throat> Surpr surprise MTFK, thanks very much for that sub. <sighs> I 
which isn't really the hand that I'm going to be calling with on the turn. So expect a high frequency probe from a player that plays the way Foxen does, but I'm going to be folding here. I expect like a 5.6 million over bet fairly often. Could be bigger than that even. Could be betting like 8.4 mil. Oh shit, he has a seven. Oh shit. It's a good spot to have a seven. I think he's buffing like that with his whole range. So it's tough to have, I mean like, it's not tough to have a seven. Like he can have a seven obviously. But I do think that he's got his whole range there, so. Dude, I'm chopping, I'm chopping well over 90% of the time. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. Like, he's bluffing with the whole deck. Are you serious? Is that a joke? <laughs> he's, go he's always bluffing there. Always. Like, I don't, I'm not even just like, like, I would, like, he just is. Like, we all are. All of us. All of us. We're all bluffing all the time. In that spot. Where the, big, where the in position players can't really have a 7. We're all bluffing all the time. That's what you're supposed to do. All right, now we have profits. <clears throat> a little bit, not tons, but a little bit. 12 left, guaranteed 20,000, 21,000 almost from this one. And then four, a little over four from the last one. Sand obviously goes in. That sucks. But it's a pretty standard spot. 30 BBs, blind versus blind, nines into aces. It sucks when you three bets, like for sure. I'm not like jumping up and down once I get the three bet, but there's enough money in the middle that we just jam and hope he folds. 12 and a half bigs, cut off. Pretty standard. Obviously hoping for folds. No pay jumps. So there's the next pay jump's 11, or sorry, is eight left. So no pay jumps for a while. So we don't have like a bunch of ICM pressure to think about. It's not like if this five, if this six million chip stack goes broke soon, like I'm gonna make more money. So I think it's a pretty standard jam. Gotta get there. Gotta get there. Fuck. All right, guys. GG. We did not win real money today. We won. We we, we basically broke even. So um, I do want to thank everybody for hanging out with me with this stream. We've got 3,800 of you up. In, in this one today, so that's awesome. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I want to thank, thank everybody again, and you know, obviously, I wish that uh, things would have gone differently. Uh, it's a quarter million to first, so I'm more gutted than you are, trust me. But um, again, thanks again, and I'll, I'll see you guys next time. So tomorrow morning, I'm back. Cheers, guys. Peace. Bye bye.